Good afternoon, D.C., and welcome, Bison. It's been an eventful week and quite spooky, to say the least. You couldn't be more right, Cares. With the end of the spookiest month, I'm starting to get settled in the breeze and ready to bring on the turkey. Okay, not too fast. The weather here has been really unpredictable. The weather isn't the only unpredictable thing in the city. I'm Kara Spender. And I'm Danila Wrightsell. And this is where you heard, heard it all. Here at Howard, our students never cease to impress us. That is most definitely the case with Cheyenne Walker and Maya James, founders of Howard University's ice skating team. The figure skating team officially launched in the summer of 2023, making it the first HBCU intercollegiate figure skating team. Howard students who are interested in ice skating, make sure to follow them on Instagram at HU underscore ice skating for more information. Last week, Karis had the opportunity to interview Sanyu Lacoma, a freshman here at Howard who has published two children's books, Subi's Sunny Smile and Chi Chi's Toothy Grin. Sanyu's message resonates with many audiences and her books are enjoyable for children and adults. Let's take a look. Hey Bison, today I will be talking to Sanyu Lacoma, a freshman broadcast journalism major from New Jersey. She's an entrepreneur and an author here at Howard University, and we'll be talking about her upcoming book. My name is Kara Spender, and this is where you've heard it all. So what are the, some of the specific issues that you wish to tackle within your books? So the first one, my children's book, Subi Sunny Smile, specifically focuses on three main themes, dental hygiene, cultural appreciation, and anti-bullying. And then with Chi Chi Soothy Grin, which is my little second book, I'm so excited for it to release. Um, that one focuses on intergenerational inspiration and recognizing that simply being yourself is enough to change the world. So who inspired your passion for literacy? Well. It all started when my mom decided that she was going to stock my bookshelves with, with as many books that feature strong black women as possible. So my mom, she saw how much I loved to read and she gave me those stories that featured women who looked like me so that I would grow up being edified and grow up seeing women doing amazing things that I would eventually do in the future. And that's when I recognized the power of books and the power of literacy. So seeing that your love for literacy began in your childhood why did you choose in particular to do children's books and not any other age group? So most children's books have a moral of the story and I wanted the morals of my story to be inspiring and uplifting to people who looked like me. So I decided to write a children's book because I recognize that inspiration starts very young. And once children hear these messages, when they are young readers and when they're first interacting with literature, they're able to grow into people who remember those ideas and are able to implicate them in the world. So I decided to write a children's book because I wanted to leave a mark and an impact on the generation coming behind me through my passion and love for books and everything else that I like to do. Thank you so much, Sanyu. I can't wait to order your book from SanyuSpeaks.com. I'm excited to see everything that you accomplish. My name is Kara Spender, and this is where you've heard it all. In the most tragic turn of events, the war in Gaza is still occurring, and many lives have been lost and homes have been destroyed. Yes, the death toll has risen to nearly 10,000, and over 8,300 of those are Palestinian civilians, and more than double of the amount injured. President Biden, in support of Israel, plans to provide $100 million to help work towards an end to this devastating conflict. The UN also put forth a non-binding resolution calling for a humanitarian truce in Gaza, aiming to cease the tension between Israel and Hamas. They asked everyone involved, including third-party states, to try and de-escalate the situation so that Israelis and Palestinians can live together peacefully. Well, all good things must come to an end, including, including this, this episode. episode. Thank you for watching Heard It All during the spookiest season of the year. Please like, subscribe, and comment to let us know how you feel. And be sure to tune in next week for more on what's happening here at Howard and beyond. And remember where you heard, heard it all. all.